Christ the Lord. He is all my righteousness. I stand in Him and worship Him. Stand complete in Him and worship Him. He is all my righteousness. I stand complete in Him and worship Christ the
Psalms 24. Amen. Psalms 24. Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord and everything in it, the world and all who lives in it. For he founded it on the sea and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountains of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place. The one who has clean hands and get in a pure heart. Who does not trust in an idol, I swear by a false God. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Search is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your faith, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Yes. The Lord mighty in battle. Yes. Lift up your head, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors. Yes. That the King of glory may come in. Who is he, this King of glory? The Lord almighty is the King of glory. Amen. Amen. I read you whole chapter of Psalms 24. May the Lord bless the reader here and do of his holy word. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd.
This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. By faith and obedience, I can have what it says I can have. I am a believer and not a doubter, a doer and not just a hearer. My life is better after having heard the word of faith. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the ways of sinners, nor sitting in the seat of the scum. But his light is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Hallelujah, the 23rd Division of Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not walk. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah, the Lord's Prayer, Daniel 9, 17, Matthew 6, 9-13. Now, therefore, O our God, hear the prayers of thy servant and thy supplication, and cause thy face to shine upon this sanctuary for the Lord's sake. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. Lead us not into no temptation, but deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Responsive reading. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Starting at Psalms 51. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. I bless you, Lord God. Have mercy upon me, O oh God, according to your unfailing love. According to your great compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash away all of my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Cleanse me with hit stop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Whatever you have learned, or received, or heard from me, or seen in me, put it into practice, and the God of peace will be with you. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we can ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us. Have faith in God, Jesus answered. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. The Lord is my shepherd. I like nothing. The silver is mine, the gold is mine, the 
declare the Lord Almighty. All together, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who lives in it. Hallelujah. Let's give God some praise. Are you 
Jesus, my God, hallelujah. We got the right to say hallelujah.
Thanking him for his son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thanking him for the Holy Spirit. And thanking God for you all that's in the house on today. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I speak peace in the house on today. Let us read that again. John 14. Hallelujah. 13 and 14 says, Hallelujah. Whatsoever, whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Thank the Lord God. And if ye ask, shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. But I got to believe in Jesus while I'm asking. Yes. What about that? And I got to believe in what I'm asking God. Hallelujah. Let's go and lift up. Amen. Let's go to Matthew. Amen. Thank the Lord God. Y'all know I'm just a scripture reading of myself. Amen. Matthew 21. Hallelujah. Verse 33 says, Matthew 21. I want to read Matthew 21. Hallelujah. Why am I going to put Matthew 21? Y'all got it? Verse. Amen. Mmm. I don't know if I need verse 30. Verse 22. Amen. Let's do 21. Amen. 21 and 22. Verse 21 and 22. Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say, uh, if you shall say unto the mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. Verse 22 says, In all things, in all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer. <clears throat> ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. Hallelujah. Ye shall receive because... If we, if ye shall ask anything in Jesus' name, he said that he will do it. Ain't that what the word said? Hallelujah. Go, go back to, amen, John chapter 14. And hallelujah. Thank the Lord God, verse 14. Let's read it again. Let's come over here to Matthew. He said, in all things, in all things, in all things. That's what he said. Whatsoever, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer. Come on here, help me. Believing ye shall receive. Help us, Holy Ghost, on the day. He said, if you believe. He said, if you believe what you ask in God. When we come to God in prayer. We come to God in prayer because we have a desire in our hearts. Yes. Somebody help me on today. We have a desire in our hearts and we know that we can't do it. Yes. So we go to God in prayer and we begin to talk to God about our situation. Yes. And while we are talking to him, we begin to tell him this is my desire from you, Father God. Hallelujah, he said, whatsoever that I come to him in prayer, believe it. I got to believe already that he is going to do it. He said, whatsoever I come to him and require of him in prayer. Know what the word say? Yes, Lord. He'll do it for me. Help us hold it goes on today. Hallelujah, let's go to Mark. My favorite verse, Mark 11, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank the Lord. 
Mark 11, verse 22 says, And Jesus answering said unto them, Y'all have it? Yeah. And Jesus answering said unto them, his disciples, He said unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. I, I know that you saw what happened. I, I know that you seen and heard when I spoke to the fig tree and the fig tree dried up. I, I know that you was paying attention to what I was doing. But if you have faith in God, you can speak to your mountain and the mountain got to move. What is you talking about? I'm talking about whatever is drawing your spirit, whatever is in your way, whatever is blocking you. Hallelujah. Speak to that mountain. Come on here. And that mountain got to move. Amen. Somebody don't hear God. Amen. The mountain got to move. This, this mountain. Hallelujah. He said, now I, I spoke to the fig tree and you saw that the fig tree dried up and it withered up even to the roots. Hallelujah. Somebody been here even to the roots. Ah, yes, God, that means that that mountain that's in your way even to the core of it, even to the root of it, it got to go. Come on here. Somebody better hear God today. It got to go. Yeah, God. If you speak to it in faith, it got to go. He didn't tell you to come to him and tell me, our oh, Father, hallelujah, you don't have to move my mouth to give me the strength. He didn't tell you that. He told you to speak to your mountain and the mountain got to move out the way and be cast into the sea. Y'all been here, God, on the day. That's what the word say. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's what the word say. Let's go this fuck. Hallelujah. And Mark. Is y'all with me today? Amen. Yeah, do I have a praying body of Christ today? Amen. Hallelujah, God. Let's go this fuck. He says, Hallelujah. He says, For verily I say unto you that whatsoever, uh, that whosoever, who, whosoever, he said, whosoever. He didn't say, Hallelujah, that you were born again. He said, whosoever. Then what is that right here? Whosoever. Whosoever shall say unto what? This mountain be thou removed and be cast into the sea and shall not what? Yeah. And shall not what? Yeah. Shall not what? Yeah. I can't be doubted. I cannot be speaking to the mountain, telling the mountain to move, and I'm doubting in my heart that that mountain is going to move. I, I can't be speaking to my situation that's going on in my life and expect for the situation to change when I'm down myself. Y'all better come on here. Yes, Lord. Somebody don't hear God on today. I cannot be speaking life, hallelujah, and I'm thinking something negative. I got to remove this doubt out of my heart and aim a higher emotion for what I am speaking to come to pass. Y'all better come Man. on here. Y'all better come on here. Help me today. Help me to preach this word on today. What it says. Amen. Let's go in this up. Over here in Mark. He went on down. I, I, I love God on today. Mark. Hallelujah. He went on down. Amen. He says, Thank you, Lord God. He shall have, okay, let's go back. Doubt in his heart, but shall believe. So, for there I say unto you, whosoever shall say unto the mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast in the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe. But shall believe, y'all better come on with me, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. Amen. 
according to that mountain, you shall have what you say. Because you believe. What the word say. No doubt. What the word say. Then when I say it, that's you speaking. See, we got to understand that two parts to this thing. He gave you by your mouth the authority to speak into your own situation. Do y'all hear that? Yes. He gave you the authority to speak to your mountain. And your mountain got to move and line up. Because you don't have no doubts and you believe in what you are saying. Yes, Lord. Come on here. Give your Holy Spirit. Part two. Part two, part two. He says right here, practice. He says, therefore, the Jesus talk. I'm saying to you today, practice, what things soever you desire. Yes. Mountain and desire are two different things. Y'all got that? You got the prophet Isaac? Uh, the mountain in your desire is two different things. Yes, Speak to your mountain. In faith, it shall be what you say. Yes, because you speaking with your mouth what you want. Yes, Lord. When you have a desire in your heart. Do the words say anything with this thing? Yes, Lord. And that what it says. What things soever ye desire when ye pray unto God. Yes, Lord. When you come before God yes. with thanksgiving. Yes. Yes. by making your request known unto the Lord. Yes. And know what it said right here? Yes. He said, when you come to me, believe mm -hmm. that you're going to have your desires. Yes. When you begin to pray about your desire, when you begin to talk to God about your desire, believe in your heart that it's already manifesting. This word right here said, and ye shall have them. And the word say, come on here, help me hold it goes. He said, you shall have what you're asking for. Now let's go to Matthew, amen, 18. Nineteen says, read it with me, y'all. Matthew eighteen, verse nineteen, read it with me. Again, I say unto you, that if two of you shall agree, if two of you, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask. The Father. It shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, help us on today. Yes. Again, I say unto you, prophetess, hallelujah, that if two of you shall agree, hallelujah, on earth as touching anything, yes. hallelujah, they shall ask. Hallelujah shall be done for them of my father. So come on, help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Let me, let me get my piece of paper here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. When you come together, hallelujah, we're going to God for this here item here. Yes, hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Lord God. He, he said, whatsoever. He said, whatsoever. We come in agreement about. Yes, Hallelujah. So, hey God, we're going to the Father. We're going to put the Father right here. Hallelujah. Then there's one person right here and another person right here. Hallelujah. So y'all got to understand the power of agreement. Thank you, Lord God. So we came together. Hallelujah. We wrote our names down. And hallelujah, we're going to get this right here. So we're going to take this, hallelujah, document. The legal paper to the father. Y'all, y'all yes. hear me now. Yes. We're gonna take the legal paper to the father. Hallelujah. Then here I am over here. Amen. Hallelujah. We got it right here. We're gonna get this item right here. Amen. Here go me. I'm 
right in the spirit. Hallelujah by the Holy Ghost. I'm in the spirit. Hallelujah. On, we got to agree in the spirit. So, so y'all better hear God today. We got to agree in the spirit. So I wrote my spiritual. Hallelujah. Hancock right there on this item. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. And then old prophet the area, the road hop, spirit the Hancock over here. And here we go. We went over to the Father. I am the boat. Yeah. Hey, God. Be the Father. Look back and say, well, I see prophet the era. Hallelujah. It's in agreement. I, yeah. I see prophet Linda. It's in agreement. Yeah. Says, 
I like this part right here. Because we belong to the Lord. Huh? Somebody help me read. He said, Hallelujah. Ye have not chosen me, but Hallelujah, I have chosen you. I called you by your name. I know your name even before you was born. I chosen you to be mine. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, that you should bring forth good fruit. A hey, God good. Hallelujah. How can you bring forth fruit if you got down in your heart? You got to believe in order to bring forth good fruit. God is good. Then he said, and whatsoever. Do y'all see that part? Whatsoever ye shall ask of my Father in my name. In whose name? In Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name. Hallelujah. He may give it to you. Hey, God, good. You got to go in the name of Jesus Christ. You just can't go in anybody's name and think that you're going to give what you want. You got to go in the name of Jesus. First John. Don't y'all feel all right? Hallelujah, Jesus. I feel all right with God, hallelujah, because every day I begin to trust Him a little bit more. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. God begin to depend on Him just a little bit more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God, hallelujah. Then chapter 5 of 1 John says, and this is the confidence, because, you know, He chose you. This is the confidence that we have in Him. We have in who? We have in Jesus. Yeah. That if we ask anything according to his will, what is the will of God? Hallelujah. Thank the Lord God that you be blessed. That you be in good health. Ah, somebody better come on here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. By his strikes, uh, we were already healed. So that means that he won't be to be healed uh, of any sickness or any diseases. Uh, Y'all better come on here. Uh, hallelujah. And then I heard that old John say, uh, Hallelujah. I desire uh, above all things uh, that you be in what? Good health and good wealth. Y'all better come on here. Uh, he wants you to have the things that you need down here on this earth. Uh, so that is the will of God. Somebody need to come on here uh, and give God some praise on the day. Hallelujah. He said, and if we know that we hear, uh, that God hear us. Uh, I know that he hear me uh, because I keep his word. Uh, Hallelujah, the bank. Hallelujah, the bank. 
of Jehovah Jireh. Y'all better come on here. Do y'all better think about that man of Jehovah Jireh? He the one formed it. He the one is the maker. He the one that stands. The Lord is his name. So he said, call upon me. That's what he said. And I will answer thee. Hallelujah. I will answer your prayers. I will answer your cry. Hallelujah. And then I turn around and show you just how great I am. Hallelujah, Jesus. I'll show you mighty things that you didn't even know about. I'll show you hallelujah. All I need you to do is have faith the size of that muscle seed. That's all I'm asking you to do. I need you to not doubt when you come before the throne of grace. Ain't God good? If you call upon me, ain't God good? I got to answer you because Jesus, a name Somebody need to go and give me praise. Thank you, Lord. I'm glad. 